What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the textured fringe. How I like to style it, what I use to style it, everything. Let's get started. All right guys, welcome back. Like I said in the intro today, we are gonna be talking about how to style the textured fringe hairstyle, what products I like to use for it, what products I think you could use for it, everything like that and how I achieve this textured fringe type of look. So this is what the textured fringe typically looks like. It's usually a really hard undercut with a lot of texture on the top of the head. Everything is kind of pulling forward towards the fringe of your hair, hence why it's called the textured fringe. I think this hairstyle is actually really, really cool because today typically men's hairstyle involves a lot of volume or a lot of slicking stuff back and up and to the side. Whereas this one's just kind of like, make a mess of everything and push it all forward and call it a day. I really like that. I think it's really cool. I think it's a little bit different and I wanted to experiment with it. So let's go over how I achieved this textured fringe look. I started out by shampooing and conditioning my hair just like normal and I let my hair air dry to almost 10 or 15% moisture. So that means that there was just a little bit of dampness in my hair, but for the most part, my hair was pretty much dry. And the reason that I let it get that dry is because I went in with my pre-styler. And my go-to pre-styling product recently has been the Pete and Pedro Salt. That stuff is absolutely incredible. It gives you crazy amounts of texture and volume, even without other hair product. You can put this in your hair and run a blow dryer through it and you'll still get crazy amounts of texture and volume. I love that product. I think it's great. So what I did was I essentially went in with the Pete and Pedro Salt and sort of put a generous coat of it it throughout the entirety of my hair and then also put it on my fringe because that's where I wanted a lot of the texture to be. And then I ran my fingers through it to evenly coat it all the way down to the roots and throughout the entire top of my head to make sure that the product was evenly distributed. Once I had evenly distributed the peat and pitcher salt through my hair, I sort of started the fringing process by pushing my hair forward, texturizing it side to side, mixing the hairs all together and moving everything forward towards the front of my head. So once I had begun the fringing process, added my pre-styler, I went in with my actual hair product before using the hair dryer. And this time I decided to try a new product that I just received. I've only used it a few times. It is the Keel Texturizing Clay. I use it because it says texturizing pretty much. And I also wanted to use the Keel's Texturizing Clay because it's a medium hold matte finish product. So I wanted a little bit of volume, but not too much and a matte finish for sure. So this was the perfect product in my opinion to use for this hairstyle. So the first thing I noticed when I started using the Kiehl product was when I started emulsifying it, there's almost a gritty type of feeling to the product. It feels like there's almost like sand in it, but I knew that that would be good for this textured fringe hairstyle because you want it to be gritty feeling. You want it to be texturized. You want it to have a lot of mess. And that's what this kind of product is going to do for you. So just like every normal product, I applied it evenly throughout my head. And with this one in particular, I actually started applying it from the back of my head. Because I didn't want too much volume in the front, I concentrated on moving the product in from the side to sides of my head. Again, sort of starting that fringing effect and process from the very beginning before I even used the hair dryer. Sort of creating this mess on the top of my head. And then at the very end of applying the product to my hair, I went to the front. And again, my focus here was not to get lift and volume it was mostly just to add texture. The next thing that you'll want to do is grab your hair dryer. And again, from this point on, I'm starting from the back of my head and moving forward. So again, to not add volume, but to add texture is the idea here. So I'm blow drying the back of my head from side to side, and then also concentrating on each side of my head, blowing my hair in the opposite direction of each other. And when you're blow drying your hair from side to side, like directly from left and then directly from the right, it's gonna create a little bit of volume because the hairs are actually crossing over themselves like this. So it's essentially just gonna mesh everything together and make it look like this big, bundled up, crazy mess. And that's what you want. As always, you'll want to go in with the cooling setting on the hair dryer just to diffuse all the heat out of your hair, make sure that your hair feels nice and soft and light afterwards. And at this point, you can honestly use the cooling setting on your hair dryer to break up some of that texture that you started with. So you can take the cooling setting and run your hair dryer from the front of your head to the back of your head, just like you see me doing here, to break up a lot of that texture in the middle, and that way you can go back in after the fact with your hands and make it look more natural. All right, so now that we're done with the hair dryer, like I said, I am gonna go in with my hands and just make sure everything looks nice and messy 
and not too orderly by any means. I just want it to be, again, sort of textured, messy, and pushed forward, and then I'm just gonna sort of set my part on the side of my head. And that's pretty much it guys. This is a very, very easy hairstyle that you can achieve with pretty much no effort. You can achieve this with pretty much any type of pre or post styling products. Again, in this video, I did use the Kiehl's Texturizing Clay, but I also believe that you could use Hans de Fuco if you wanted an even more of a messy, voluminous type of look, or you could even use something like Pete and Pedro's Putty if you wanted something a little bit more firm with a little bit more hold. All right, guys, and that wraps it up for today's video. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can see when I post a video next. Join the family because we have huge things coming into this channel in 2018. And if you hit that subscribe button, then you can be a part of it too. Also, give this video a big fat thumbs up if you liked it. Drop your comments in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time. Later. Now